Hello, this tutorial is going to be about functions in Python. I'm just going to start by typing the name, uh, typing a couple of variables here. Variable 1 is going to be equal to an integer, value 1, and variable 2 is going to be equal to a, going to be equal to a list containing an integer 1, a floating point value 2.2, and uh, a string or text information containing the text 3. And I'll just close <coughs> close the square brackets to finish the list declaration there. And let's get straight into functions. Probably, well, certainly one of the most useful functions is the print function. Uh, that works. Um, it, it just prints the uh, w whatever value you you give it to the screen. So I'll just go ahead and use that here. Uh, you use it by typing the name of the function. Here it's print, followed by the parentheses. And um, inside the parentheses, you pass in the value that you want to print. Let's say we want to print variable 1, and then you close the parentheses. Um, to make our script actually do anything, we need to execute it. Uh, it's something we haven't done before, but uh, it's very easy. All you have to do is press Alt-P. And I um, don't know if you noticed, but down here, the value 1 appeared. Uh, this window here is the... Um, Blender console window is one of the two windows that open when you open Blender. Uh, this one here is the main Blender window. Uh, as you can see, um, output from the print function here uh, is placed onto the Blender console window here. So I'll just press Alt P to execute the script a couple more times. And you can see each time I do that, um, uh, this line is executed and the value 1 is printed to the screen uh, because uh, variable 1. Um, contains the value 1. I'm just going to go ahead and use the print function again and this time I'm going to pass it variable 2 instead. Uh, it's very similar to the, to the first function call. Just press Alt P again. This time you can see that the, the, uh, the list is printed to the screen from variable 2. Um, it looks very similar when it's printed uh, to how it looks when it's declared. So what's actually happening here? Uh, when we call the print function, Python is doing everything that's necessary to make this make uh, uh, the value that we pass to it uh, appear on the screen. Uh, now when we pass it an integer, that involves reinterpreting that mathematical value into text information and passing that text information to the operating system and then the operating system then um, reinterprets that text as pixel data and places it onto the screen. Uh, that's quite a lot of stuff that it has to do and um, and when you consider what it has to do when uh, you ask it to print a list it's even more complicated because it has to reinterpret each of these values in turn into text information and then pass each of them in turn to the operating system and then the operating system then prints each of them onto the screen. Uh, but the great thing about functions really is that we don't have to worry about any of that. Um, the, uh, the function is provided by Python and we can use it and have all of that code executed um, simply by typing the name of the function. So that's what functions really do. They allow you to execute arbitrarily complex code uh, simply by typing the name of a function. It would be great if we could do that for ourselves. And uh, we can, because Py Python allows us to define our own functions. And uh, I'll just go ahead and, and show you how to do that. Um, you type def to begin with, then the name of the function. I'm going to call our function function1. Then you type the parentheses. In the simplest case, you just type the opening one followed by the closing parentheses. And then you type the colon, and you press enter. And indented on this line here, is where you type the function body. Uh, the function body is the code that gets executed whenever you call a function. So I'm just going to keep this function body fairly simple. I'm just going to um, call the print function and uh, just uh, pass it uh, the string value hello from function one. And then close the string and close the parentheses. Now, if I was to execute the script at the moment, um, this fact, this string wouldn't be printed to the screen. That's because all we've done here is to define the function. Uh, to get it to execute, we need to call the function. That's very easy to do. 
oops, we've already done it with the print function. All you have to do is type the name of the function, uh, followed by the parentheses, and that's it. So I'm going to press um, Alt P to execute the script now. And <clears throat> yep, down here we can see hello from function one is printed to the screen. So that's a good start, but at the moment the function is very set in stone. We could call it as many times as we wanted to, but each time it would do exactly the same thing. Um, it'd be nice if each time we called it we could give it some different information so that it could behave differently. And we can do that uh, just by coming to the function definition and specifying the name of a variable, uh, the name of a new variable in um, inside these parentheses here. So um, I'll just uh, make up a name for a new variable, it's called parameter1 and uh, this variable is now going to be available uh, everywhere inside the function body and it'll only be available inside the function body so um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and use the, this new variable parameter 1 so oop, I spelled it wrong param parameter 1 so uh, the whatever we um, whatever the value of this parameter is it'll get passed on to the print function inside our function body uh, but at the moment, uh, although we've specified a variable here, we haven't provided an, a value for that variable, and we need to do that whenever we call the function. So I've come to the function call here, and I'm going to provide uh, provide uh, a value for our new parameter. And it's going to be a string uh, with the text information, hello via param parameter1. And I'll close that. So let's try executing the script now. Press Alt P, and sure enough, hello via parameter one is printed out in the Blender control window there. Uh, just to demonstrate that the function that we've made is now more, um, more, more useful, really, um, more adaptable. I'll just uh, call. Oh, sorry. I'll call the same function again, uh, but this time I'm going to pass a different value to it, and I'm going to pass uh, the value of variable 2 which is a list I'm going to use the uh, item from that list with index 2 and remember um, that uh, list indices begin at 0 so this is item 0 this is item uh, with index 1 and this is item the item with index 2 so we ho we're hopefully going to print out the value uh, 2 because um, oops sorry <laughs> we're hopefully going to print out the value the, the text value 3 uh, because uh, this piece of code here references uh, this text information here so that text information will be assigned to parameter 1 in our function call and that will get passed on to the print function inside our function body so I'll press Alt P again to execute the script again and yep as we hoped uh, the text value 3 is printed there so that's a pretty good um, first introduction to functions. Uh, there are a couple of other useful things that we can learn about, and we'll do that in the next video. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.